hi welcome what's up youtube welcome back to the channel we are monday may 22nd almost the end of may can you believe this i just completed my first order it was supposed to be a very easy order and the delivery was i mean it was not complicated it's just just took way longer than it should have basically it was for 12 dollars four items everything was in stock then it was a leave at my door she gave me like the the number to call on the intercom blah 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 i don't know what's going on to my face i have literally pimples everywhere i don't know what's going on and i arrived there she would not buzz me in I called like three times and then I sent a message. It was like, hey, I'm trying to get buzzed in. She was like, oh, you can leave it at the glass door. Um, I'm coming to pick it up. So that's what I did. And now I'm going to go back to the store. Basically, five bucks. It's 2, 11 p.m. I accepted a $17 order on Uber Eats again for 2.4 miles. I don't think I've delivered to that person before. Um, I think it's like 14 items, a bunch of juice ice cream, um, everything should be in stock. Fingers crossed. to go back fast because I accepted a $32 order, yes, you heard me correctly, on DoorDash, uh, like I was expecting, good lord, like I was expecting, I did not get a uh, Top Dasher with my shop and deliver this week because I did not make 13 deliveries, can you imagine? I remember last summer I was I think my most deliveries I've done in a week was like 30 ish something it's for Nelly so I, I know her she lives in a house in a quiet street but it's it's a lot of items uh, it's for 56 items so I have not had the chance to look at the items actually flowers cake parmesan seven bananas nine lemons so yeah that's why there are so many um, items right now. It's because she has a lot of produce and it's this like a lot of um, a doubles and quadruples, but we should be okay. Usually she's fine. Uh, usually her orders are pretty easy to shop. So we'll see. Um, it is 3.09 p.m. right now and I'm going back to the store. All right, so what I didn't know is that she has a big ass balloon in that order. So it's literally taking the entire <laughs> seat. So as you could see, okay, look, this is all of the balloons. <laughs> and the cops just came, so hopefully they're not gonna say anything. But as you can see, my car is filled with balloons. So I didn't know, I thought it was literally just one balloon. But it's like a bouquet, whatever. So it's like one, and of course she chose like the biggest balloon that they have, 36 inches. So personally, I don't care. It's just that it's so big. And then she has five latex balloons um, that they also inflate. So I thought they were gonna give me like the, the, the latex balloons and then just inflate like the other one. But no, they inflate all of them. So <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Um, first of all, to go to checkout with the balloons in my hands, uh, it's just not fun because I can only use one hand because <clears throat> the thing that they give you to like weight the balloons, they, they, it doesn't weight enough to keep the balloons on the ground. So 
anyways it, it does fit at the beginning I put them like next to me but then I couldn't see through like on my right side and I remember okay I'm getting punched in the face by a balloon I remember so <laughs> I don't know if you oh my god what the hell um I saw the video where um Joe Easy his his channel okay you're getting on my nerves balloon at some point he had a party city order and <laughs> I remember go away I remember that video so well and I remember the struggle that it was and I laughed so hard at that video and I had that in my head when I when I took the balloon she also has a cake um, oh my god and I took When I took the balloons and I tried to put it in my car, I saw this video like vividly and I was like, see, you were laughing, now it's your turn. Uh, it's not that bad, uh, me. Uh, he had like eight big ass balloons. Mine is just five and it's just like the big one that's really, really big. The other ones, it's, you know, they're, they're fine. But <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Uh, I, and you know, people were like, oh, I hope you have a big car. I was like, dude, I have a mini. <laughs> But anyway, now I'm on my way to deliver and, um, sir, it's not your turn to go. <laughs> That's crazy to me, people who think that they can literally go in front of you at the stop sign when it's clearly not their turn. But anyway, uh, she's not too far. She's five minutes away. I'm keeping, obviously, the windows closed because I don't want the balloons to do whatever shit They probably gonna do but the thing is it's really really hot today so I'm just trying I'm just trying to not crash and get this balloon out of my face oh my goodness guys <laughs> it looks like a prank video but it's not I forgot to mention that um, she was not answering the messages and I, I actually don't know which balloon she wanted so I took a wild guess and hope that it's for a birthday and not a graduation because she never answered my messages or my calls and it did not even give me a picture so I asked the ladies over there and she was like oh I know what it is but then I don't know which balloon it is and I had no picture so I was like I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say that it's for a birthday uh, I actually don't know if it is I tried to take like neutral colors for the uh, latex balloons as well because I don't know if it's for a girl or a boy or I actually have no idea so hopefully um, I didn't make a mistake. Alright, drop off is done. So um, it was easier than I thought. So basically they have a leave-in maid. I don't know if she's leave-in actually but she, they have a maid and uh, she's the one who gets the orders and basically it says leave at my door but usually they she wants um, the groceries left at the on, the on the door on the side so it's easier and she came to meet me and she was like oh how many bags and she was like oh you can bring the car in so that made my life so much easier because she had a bunch of bags she had six bags plus the cake plus the balloons and uh, she helped me with everything and uh, yeah we are done So she was like, because I arrive and I see balloons outside that says, Happy Mother's Day. And I was like, shit, like maybe it's for Mother's Day, like the, the, like the occasion. And I was like, fuck, like I didn't, I didn't grab the correct balloon. And I was like, oh, is this for, mo for Mother's Day, the cake and the balloon? She's like, oh no, it's for a birthday. I was like, oh, thank God. Like, thank God I took a wild guess. I mean, it's not like a complicated guess. Like, Usually people order balloons for a birthday, but you never know. Um, so I'm happy that that was not a complete bust and she would have been like, no, it was for whatever occasion and it was a completely different occasion. You know what I mean? So I'm happy with that. I'm happy that I took uh, neutral colors for the balloons. I had like a purple, uh, you saw like a blue, a red, you know, so either or it's going to be a good guess it's gonna be a it was not like girly colors or boyish colors so whatever this kid is should have a good birthday hopefully uh, she I'm pretty sure I was late because it took me a good 10 minutes not a good 10 minutes but I I had already 
unloaded some of the bags when she came to me and she asked like how many bags then she said oh you can uh, take the car in so I had to put whatever that I had back in the car and then drive in there the thing is the balloons I had moved them at the front so I couldn't see on the right side <laughs> but um, so yeah it took me a good 10 minutes to deliver and complete the order and she tipped $14 which is pretty good in my opinion and now I'm gonna go back to the store it's 4 34 p.m. I just accepted a $21 order going six miles but I'm like two miles away from the store so and I think I know that customer for 16 items so that's what I'm gonna go do now all right shopping's done for this order everything was in stock or she chose replacements and I actually already delivered to her many many times it's a house so I don't really mind. She's in a quiet street as well, so there should be parking in front of her house. It's a leave at my door. Um, I like her order because she's a, she's a good tipper and she always orders like stuff that's pretty. She always orders stuff that's pretty easy to find. So it's not, it's nothing like weird. You know what I mean? So now she's 10 minutes away. It's. 5.03 p.m. Drop-off is done. She tipped $6, which is fine. But I'm out of my zone for DoorDash, so I'm gonna go back. It's 5.15 p.m. right now. There was just a little bit of traffic to get here, but um, honestly, nothing too terrible. I've known worse than that, uh, especially for that time of the day. Uh, hopefully, there is not too much traffic to go back either, and uh, we'll see. Just finished shopping for this 11.50 on DoorDash. Not too far. It was slow, so I decided to take it. have the dog but anyway um, I tried to ring the doorbell and it does not even ring so I'm not sure why they have that in their notes she tipped 350 which is fine because she only had four or five items I don't remember it was really really easy everything was in stock she's like a mile away from the store it is it's gonna be 6 p.m. in five minutes so far, I'm having a really good day today. Just accepted a $15 order on Uber. I've been waiting for a while, I'm not gonna lie. Um, maybe like 45 minutes? I don't know, it's been a while. Maybe a little bit less than that. Um, going 2.2 miles, mini coffee cakes, kombucha, eggs, deodorant, mangoes, cheddar cheese, and macaroni and cheese are the items, so we should be okay. $14 order on Uber, right? So basically what happened is that I started shopping for this order and then I received a $26 order on DoorDash for 1.2 miles, which I obviously accepted for a Jillian. And I've delivered to her plenty of times. The thing is, her order was pretty big, 40 items. And I was like maybe 15% done on the Uber Eats um, order. 
So I decided to take both at the same time and, and delay the Uber Eats a little bit to shop for the DoorDash. I mean, I shopped for both at the same time, but obviously I needed a little bit more time for the DoorDash order. And there was a bunch of, I mean, a bunch. There was like two things they didn't have for the Uber Eats order. So I had to refund one and replace the other and then there were a few things on the DoorDash order that were out of stock but honestly she had 40 items and out of those 40 items they only had two that were out of stock so that's a pretty good ratio and I've decided to go deliver the Uber Eats first because he had been waiting not forever but he's been waiting for longer than he should have been waiting because I had the other order and I know that the DoorDash customer, um, I have time. I have until 8.09 and it's 7.55 right now and I'm about to go deliver to her. I'm like five minutes or seven minutes away from her. So I don't, I think I made the right decision. Um, it was a meet at door for the Uber Eats, but he said to leave it at the door through the doorbell. So that's what I did. And so I don't know, but there was like, I don't think it was the front door, but I hope it is. I mean, I hope that's the door he like mentioned because I, I, I went through the front gate and then there was like a big wooden door and I could tell it's not the front door of the house, but it was locked. So I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna um, try to push a door that's locked for some reason. So I left it there and now I'm gonna go deliver to the DoorDash customer. I'm still wondering if some people are aware that they have signals on their cars and they should be using them. Literally, like going to the Uber Eats customer like three minutes ago, there is a dude who literally ran a red light. He was stopped at the red light. Everyone was stopped at the red light. And he saw that there was nobody going on the other side, you know, for when where the light was green and he just crossed he literally just crossed a gigantic red light i have never seen this in my entire life Okay, drop off his bill. I think she tipped eleven dollars, which is amazing. She's a great tipper. I used to deliver to her a lot during the summer, and then I don't know if she stopped answering or if DoorDash stopped sending me her order. I don't know. But that's done. Now she's like three minutes away from the store, so that's where I'm going to go back. I'm almost a hundred bucks on DoorDash. Can you believe this? All right, it's 8.35 and I'm going home. <clears throat> I've been waiting for maybe 15 minutes and I'm not receiving any orders, so I am done with today. <laughs> I feel like I've made enough money. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It helps with the algorithm. We're almost at 4,000 watch hours. Yay, finally. And I will see you in the next video.